Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to determine if a given binomial is a factor of a given polynomial using the factor theorem and synthetic division. Before we jump into this example right here, let's define factor theorem first. Factor theorem states that if a polynomial p of x is divided by a factor x minus a, then the remainder is zero. Otherwise, if the remainder is not zero, then x minus a is not a factor. So let's take this first example right here. So suppose we have uh, we have here a question, is x minus 1 a factor of 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus 3x minus 18? So what are we going to do is we are going to divide this polynomial with this binomial right here. So then we can go ahead and set it up this way. Okay, so if we divide this polynomial by this binomial, if the remainder is zero, then x minus one is a factor. But how do we divide this? So in order that we can divide these two polynomials here, we're going to use synthetic division. This is how we set up the division process for this using synthetic division. First, we are going to write only the coefficients. So the coefficients of each of the terms. So then we, I go ahead and write two here. So that's going to be two and then a uh, positive seven and the negative three and the negative 18. Again, we're doing synthetic division. Again, if the remainder for this is zero, then x minus one is a factor. If it's not zero, or I mean, when the remainder is not zero, then x minus one is not a factor. So how do we divide this? So since this is x minus one, we are going to use the zero product property to determine the roots for this, which is actually positive one. So then the fastest way to determine the one that we divide here is we switch the sign of this. Since this is a negative, flip it so it becomes a positive. So I'm just going to write a small square here, which is a positive one. Again, we switch the sign and then that would be the one that we divide here. Now we are going to draw a bar here. Now the first step that we're going to do is to bring down the two. So I bring down the two here. And then the next thing that we are going to do is to multiply these two. That's one times. So I will put an X there. That means I multiplied it. One times two is two. I will put that number right here, two. And then I'm going to add these two. So then seven plus two is nine. I will repeat the same process. I will multiply one by nine. So that would be a nine. And that's the number that I will write here. So this would be a nine, and then I will have to add these two together. So negative three plus nine is six. It's gonna be a positive six, and I will repeat the same process here. The one will be multiplied by six. One times six is six, and the product to that will be written in here, which is a six. And then I will add these two together. So negative 18 plus six is negative 12, which means that this is the remainder. Okay, since the remainder here is not zero, we can go ahead and say that x minus one in parentheses is not a factor. Okay, the reason why x minus one is not a factor because the remainder is not zero. Please remember that the factor theorem states that if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a, then the remainder is zero. In this case, it's not zero, so which means that x minus one is not a factor. Now, if we want to know what is the answer to this or what is the quotient for these two when they are divided, this is the trick. So this would be represented by an exponent l one less than the highest exponent, which is going to be x squared, because again, that's three. So I will, I will subtract one to it. So that would be two. Now, if this was seven, then this would be six. If this was nine, then this would be eight. Since this is three, this would be two. And then just reduce the um, exponent downward. So this would be x raised to the power one, and this one will have no x. So then we can go ahead and write Right. The quotient for this is actually 2x squared because you have a 2x squared. Then you have a 9x 
x because you have a 9 and x and then we have a plus 6 because you have a 6 right there so what i did was i paired up the 2x squared 9x and then the 6 and then i write the uh, remainder that's going to be minus 12 over whatever is the divisor right here x minus 1. so this is the quotient of this expression that we have right there at this time i would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own and when you're done and pause it and check your answer Okay, so we go over the problem here. So let's set up this um, expression. Again, this is our polynomial P of X, and this is our X minus A. So then we can go ahead and write this as Okay, now we move on to um, the synthetic division to determine if the remainder for these two would be zero. So this is how we set up the synthetic division. So we start with this. So that is actually, again, we only write the coefficients. So that would be one, and that's a six, a seven, negative six, and the negative eight. And then we are going to divide it by we switch the sign of this, and that would be a negative 2. So the next step that we're going to do is to uh, bring down the 1. So I bring the 1 down, and then I am going to multiply the, um, the number right here and the 1. So that would be negative 2 times 1 is 2, and then I write that down here. So that would be a negative 2, and I add it. So that would be 6 plus negative 2 is 4. And then I will do the same thing. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Then I will write that um, up here. So that's a negative 8. I add this. So it's going to come out negative 1. So negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2. Then I write that down here. That's a positive 2. Then I add these two. That's a negative 4. And then I multiply these two, negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8. And then I write that down here, that's a positive 8, and add these two, negative 8 plus 8 is 0. So, which means that our remainder is 0. So, this is our remainder. Okay, so this tells us that our x plus 2 is a factor. So, I'm just going to write that down here. Again, the reason why x plus 2 is a factor, it's because our remainder is 0. In order that we can write the quotient for this, we remember that this is x to the power 5. So that means this is x to the power 4, x to the power 3, x to the power 2, x to the power 1. And so we don't have to uh, write the remainder here. So you can just write x for this. So the quotient for these two, when you would divide this, this would come out, um, that's going to be x to the fourth plus 4x to the third and then minus x squared minus 4x. And this is the quotient of this expression that we have on the left. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah. Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!